Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I'm Shane. And today, as you can see from CodeKarate.com, this is going to be episode number 28. Before we get started, you can follow me on Twitter at SMThomas3, or you can come over here to the CodeKarate.com website and sign up for the newsletter. Today we're going to cover the Meta Tags module. I had someone contact me and say they wanted to learn a little bit more about it, so I'm going to go over that today. And meta tags can be important for your search engine results and your search engine rankings. It's, it's a little debatable on how much value they actually provide. However, it doesn't hurt to have them, so it's a good module to at least know about. So we'll go ahead and hop over to our test site here. I already have the token module installed to the latest version, so I'm going to go ahead and go drush download meta tag. It went ahead and it downloaded the module here, so I'll come to the modules page. Scroll down and find the meta tag section, which is going to be right down here. And we're not going to cover the open graph meta tags. We're just going to cover the basic meta tag module here. So we'll go ahead and save this. And once this is saved, if you come back here, there's going to be a permissions page, and there also is a configuration page. We're not going to worry about the permissions right now. We're just going to go ahead and go to the configure page. And this allows you to do a couple things. We'll go ahead and we'll look at the global front page first. So if we come to the front page of our website here, you can see it's just a stream of the content on the site. And I'll go ahead and I'll open up our little developer tool over here. And you'll notice in the header tag, there's not any, there's a meta tag for Drupal 7 for the generator. There's a content type meta tag. But what we want to do is we want to take a look at how we can add our own meta tags to this front page of the site. So we come back here on front page. If you click on it, it tells you that it inherits the meta tag from global. It uses the site name for the title, which is, as you can see right here, it says Code Karate. It uses the site URL for the canonical URL, which I'm guessing that's probably listed in here somewhere as well as a meta tag. But we'll go ahead and we'll go into this override section here. Here we can give it a description. And it gives you a little bit of information about how you should format that description. It says usually 150 characters or less. It may be used. And that's the big key is that it may be used by search engines to display information about your website. So I'll go ahead and put a description in there. You can also put a some keywords. Now... The important thing here is a lot of search engines no longer support this. I think it, it used to be more important. Now it's not so much, but it doesn't hurt to have them, I suppose. So you can go ahead and add those in. You could add a title. So we can do something like that if we wanted to. In the advanced section, here you have a whole bunch of different settings you can change. Here for the robots file. You can prevent search engines from indexing this page. In this case, we don't want to do that. You could prevent search engines from following links. And just there's a whole bunch of different options you can set for the robots file. The generator, that's supposed to describe the name and version of the software you're using. We're, of course, using Drupal 7. You can have a copyright section. The canonical URL is just going to default to the site URL. You can, of course, add a short link or a publisher URL as well. Uh, you don't really need those. It's kind of up to you if you want to use them. I'm going to not use them in this example. But there's also a thing down here for browsing the available tokens. And this is going to launch a token browser pop-up window. And this is going to allow you to search and find different tokens that you could potentially use on your site. So you could go ahead and grab a token here and drop this in on any of these fields. So just be aware that that is available to use. So we'll go ahead and save this. 
and you can see now that you can revert it because it's been overridden. We'll go ahead and refresh the home page. Come in here on our Firebug, or our Chrome Developer Tools, I guess. And you can see there's a meta name for keywords. It has Drupal and Code Karate, which were the keywords we gave it. It also has the meta name for description. And you already saw that it has the generator meta tag. So all in all, pretty easy. You can do the same thing for nodes. So for a node page. And it, it's going to go ahead and default to the node summary for the description. It's going to give you this title. You can, of course, set the advanced options. So if you had, if you didn't want any of the nodes on your site to be indexed, you could go ahead and set that. You can also do this if you go into Add Content. And we'll go ahead and say we're going to add an article. Down here, there's a meta tag section. You can do the same thing. So you can actually override um, the meta tags. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just create a test article here. We could say something else for the description. You could add keywords, whatever you wanted that was related to the post you're creating. Of course, you could change this, the title. It's going to default to the node title, a little bar, and then the site name. Well, similar to how this is set up here. And of course, you can go into the advanced settings or browse the available tokens. Go ahead and create this. You can see the title is Test Meta Tags Article. If we go ahead and open up our developer tools, come in here, you'll notice that There's a meta tag for the keywords that we created, meta tag for the description, which is different than the content, of course, because we set that. The title is test meta tags article bar with the site name. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to drop in this module, turn it on, and start creating and using meta tags to help annotate the HTML on your site for search engines. And that's it for today on the Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. And if you have any ideas of things you would like to see on the Daily Dose of Drupal, go ahead and contact me by coming to Code Karate, clicking on this contact link here or here, or contacting me on Twitter. Until next time, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.